Assalamu alaikum guys and uh, welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. <sighs> I'm, uh, how do I say this, you know, I'm really embarrassed and I, I just had to say this because of the, um, the offence that I caused in the previous video. Guys, I I'm not a bad person, you know, I, I, I didn't want to offend people and I I'm a good person. I'm, I'm not bad, you know, so I just wanted to retract what I said. I want to offer my apologies. That's right. I want to apologize to all the paper clips, yeah, that I offended by comparing you guys to Craig Whitaker. That despicable excuse for an MP. I'm sorry paper clips that I even put you in the same sentence as that waste of space. Douche. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so you know addiction is no joke. You could be addicted to indecent websites. Yeah, you're, watching, guy. You're, you're somebody you're that must dirty. be watching your pornography. Dirty. You can be addicted to roasted chicken, real chicken, biryani, chicken biryani, uh, chicken butter masala, chicken tikka, chicken kebab, chicken lollipop. Intoxicants and of course alcohol. The United States of America also realized this in 1920 and they decided to ban this disgusting, despicable concoction. But then they realized that people started bootlegging it. That's right, making it illegally in their basements without the safety precautions and the health regulations and that caused an alarming amount of people to die or become ill, so they had to retract and had to legalize it again. Now uh, before I move on to India, I wanted to say that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 1400 years ago where the companions would also drink alcohol, but when revelation came and banned it, the people that had it in their hands, they dropped it. The people that had it in their mouths, they spat it out. The people that were even in the process of swallowing, made sure that they were able to get it out of their system. Literally, the streets of Arabia were literally drenched in alcohol because people were discarding it. Now here is a man that you guys claim, oh he came up with the Koran, he came up with the Koran, he made the, the cube in the desert which attracts 3 million people every year. There's not one moment where people are not doing tawaf. How is it that this individual that you claim is just some random Arab guy is able to have an impact without technology, without an army, without a senate you guys call it yeah or parliament or whatnot. How is he able to do this mate if he is not receiving divine support from your and my creator. Food for thought guys food for thought. Now let's go to India now, because of the lockdown alcohol is in very short supply in the land of India. Now because of that people are becoming incredibly desperate to such a degree that they are even resorting to drink hand sanitizer because it's got a percentage of alcohol on it. Little do these people know that the alcohol that's in hand sanitizer is toxic methanol and also toxic isopropanol. 10 people have done it and their stupidity has killed them. I don't get it. Did the warning on the bottle not stop them? Did their chemistry lessons with their teacher with the long nasal hairs not stop them? Did not the taste, the smell or the unusually bright colour not deter them? I mean the people that I feel sorry for the most are the kids. Yeah, Imagine being a kid whose dad has just OD'd on hand sanitizer. <laughs> and other people are saying, oh my god, your dad's died. Oh no, sorry to hear that. How did he die? Oh, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, I caught him, you know, just with a bag of nuts and, you know, a couple of bottles of hand sanitizer. I told him, dad, enough's enough. And he said, no, don't tell me what's enough. You're not the boss of me. Say what? Alright guys, I think it's safe to say that India as a nation is going down the toilet mate. We are very very proud of India. And no, it's not because of these hand sanitizer uh, 
connoisseurs, but rather I think it's people like the BJP lawmaker. Yeah. In fact, I hope that this guy had drunk some uh, hand sanitizer, a, a cocktail of sorts, because then he wouldn't have told his own Muslim population to kill their own kids. And I had also hoped that these people had also had a hand sanitizer martini before attacking this Muslim man with a hammer whilst the police was watching just because it was reported that he was carrying some beef. An unarmed man was savagely beaten with a hammer and kicked to pulp while the police and dozens of people did little more than watching him. And for those kids that are watching, yeah, just remember my little munchkins, if somebody offers you hand sanitizer to drink, just say no. Doesn't matter if your friends are doing it or if it's cool. Oh. Alright guys, I hope you learned a valuable lesson. I hope you appreciate how many people I'm saving from this video. Hand sanitizer drinking awareness. I'm taking it upon myself to do this mate. Yeah, unsung hero. That's what I am. Gotta stay humble though innit. <laughs> yeah. See you guys next time inshallah. Asalaamu Alaikum.